Hello, um, so it's me, Alan, and we're going to be ending the Punny Money Then series today. So I really like the book because it was like interesting and fun, and it taught me a lot of other things, uh, like geology, like basic geology, Buddhism, and things like that. And it was really interesting. Um, I think you liked it. And so some of the things I noticed was that they, they had these little cliffhangers, and these cliffhangers would like make you want to keep read, um, keep reading. And they were really nice because I think you've noticed too. Like whenever I finished, like I think it was like chapters yeah it was something in the 30s but like when dr director was like uh saying that he knows how the um pun how the yetis minds connect and stuff uh yeah that and then they just ended the chapter that was like such a big cliffhanger but like after that um so the book was written by uh by writer jay Mullen, and it was originally written in tamil so I'll tell you where I can get the book at the end of the video, but so for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna keep walking until I get to another place. So I'm in this place, it's called the 40 Mile Creek. Now that's not important to the video, that's not important, but I wanted to talk to you about Pony Money then. So I know uh, you saw the first part of the video, so what happened? So something I like, I'm trying to catch my breath, is that they that in the book it kind of has both science and religion and you know beliefs and stuff, but but neither of them overlap into the other one too much. And what I mean is, sure it discusses science, sure it discusses um Buddhism and religion, but it does not let both of them overlap each other. Now so. It's that, and also I like, like the little um, intricate details. Now, these little intricate details are really important, and they kind of make these they they kind of make um the whole entire story seem very lifelike. Like um when they're really cold, Pundin's kind of just des describing how it's really cold, or um Dr. Deverker, well, I mean I mean not Dr. Deverker, the narrator um explains how those weird um. Um, heated suits work now another thing is that I didn't mention this when I was um, telling you about the book in the um, Pony Money Then series but something that happens is well um, sometimes there's these boxes in the books and this is just like this isn't um these are just fun fact boxes basically so the so no one's um actually saying it not Bondian, not dr driver not kim not the narrator these are just fun facts i forgot to mention it and i just kind of integrate it into the character's um script basically <laughs> now so something you might have also noticed is that sometimes i say that i can't that i can't really translate it that's true now something else is that this book is a very very odd book because at um at the first part you're expecting it to be sort of like a mystery sort of like a fun um children's mystery book but at the end when you get when you're getting closer to the end you're seeing that it's more of a philosophical book a more sentimental book and it starts off as kind of like a mysterious but still fun um an amazing book but at the end, it's sort of like a part sentimental and a part, um, just, uh, it's just amazing. It's just, uh, um, at the end, it's just really, really sentimental and it has a really, really good message. And that message is that us humans, we've, like, butchered nature. And, like, we try to use everything that we find. And if it's not um, useful to our eyes, we destroy it. And so the book really conveys that message really well. And I mean, especially in the, um, you know, the kind of the last lines of the book. And so this book is, a, is available on um, Amazon Kindle as well as in paperback. Now, I'm sure you can find some sort of translated version to read. Now, um, the book is really great. So I recommend you reading it. So yeah, that was the video. Bye.